New details emerging tonight involving the two missing teens from Westland. This comes as two bodies are found near the spot where the two boys were last seen alive. F Yeah, it is a tragedy. Just yesterday, I stood with the family as they were with Crime Stoppers and offered $25,000 for any information leading to Jake Cudla and Jordan Bobbish. But now, just a day later, it's all eyes on the medical examiner's office as they work to ID two men found murdered in an open field. Police now telling me these men have been dead for days. I just want Aaron to speak okay. on our behalf and on behalf of the Bobbish okay. family because we're just too distraught right now. Virgie Cudla is devastated beyond words, directing the media to talk to a spokesman. She was physically held up by the family attorney and her missing son's godfather. Jake was nothing but a great kid, as well as I can assume his friend. Jordan, I didn't know, but it's kind of a senseless thing to happen. You know, there could have been a different way. There's different ways in life. I don't really know what to say outside of just being just distraught. Just before 10 o'clock Friday morning, a tipster found the bodies of two males in an unkept field near City Airport. The victims were on their knees, face down. Police sources say they'd been stripped down, no pants, no shoes, and they'd been shot in the back of the head. People who live nearby looked on in horror. They said that it was the two white guys that they had been looking for and they had been shot. I saw that they had put, covered it up, put a blue tarp over the bodies and they wouldn't let us go no farther. They told us to back up. It's so sad. It's like the world is coming to an end right before our eyes. We need to start looking out for one another. It's just, it's just really sad. Police covered the bodies with a tarp. Investigators took pictures. Sky Fox flew overhead while a swarm of detectives collected evidence. It could be hours before the victims are positively ID'd. I don't know what to think right now. I'm in shock. That's all I have to say. The families of Jacob Cudla and Jordan Bobbish waiting on pins and needles for confirmation of their worst nightmares. An endless parade of cars, missing flyers still tacked to the windows, parked at the Cudla home in Westland. The teen boys disappeared Sunday on their way home from visiting an uncle on Detroit's east side. Police believe they went to buy drugs and met up with the wrong guys. For days, the families conducted their own searches, looking in abandoned houses and vacant lots, hoping the story wouldn't end like this. And although their hope is fading, the family is keeping the faith until they hear directly from the medical examiner that the search is over. At this point, there, there's no confirmation on the identity. Uh, th there's a high probability that it is the two boys. Um, they won't know till tomorrow. There's no confirmation, so we don't know. But with the probability, we're all pretty distraught. So I have a big support group. And it just breaks your heart to hear the family holding out hope. The medical examiner plans to release autopsy results tomorrow. The family says they will let us know what they hear from the medical examiner. We're also told they will have to use dental records to ID the bodies, again, because they appear to have been killed days ago. In Detroit, Marielle Lou, Fox 2 News. Yeah, devastating for those families, Marielle. Uh, have we heard anything more about the two men who are in police custody tonight? Yeah, we have. These two men are still in custody. They will be charged uh, for their alleged role in the theft of the car and the car parts. Police still not saying whether or not these men have anything to do with the murders, but they do tell me, my police source does tell me that uh, these men know a lot more than they've told police so far. All right. Moriel Lou reporting live. Thank you.